Zechariah chapter 8 verse 16 and it reads these are the things that ye shall do speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates first and foremost I want to give all praise honor, and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakwadash next double honors to the head apostle slash other bishops of great millstone the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the bible peace blessings and safety to all you sincere I can keep pushing keep believing keep the faith regardless of our, our people here for a bear right this is our job is to tell our people the truth even though the truth might hurt we, we got to let them know it's not going to get better here, all right? Tribulation, evils, miseries, chaos, loss of jobs. You see, people losing their homes. You see, deletion on top of deletion. The lack of food. A lack of everything, man. A lack of couple comfortabilities. This is not the time to get comfortable, relax, keep your eyes open, stay on your toes. This is our job. Our job is not to lie to you and you just get relaxed again. No, no. What did the scripture say? Zechariah chapter 8, verse 16. The Lord is deleting people out here. And it's getting worse and worse. More, yeah, more storms are coming. More floods are coming. Your house might burn down in the whole process of things. You see, loved ones are going to pass away. All right? This is not our rest. This is not heaven. All right? This is not heaven. The false prophets are, uh, have you to believe that it is, but it's not. Zechariah chapter 8, verse 16. These are the things that ye shall do. This is a commandment right here. Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor. So the only thing that we can give you is the truth. We, we, nothing else. Don't expect nothing else from us. All right? Fire destroys home. A shootout with police. More of these things are going to happen each and every day. All kind of people. I was going to do a lesson last night, but I was tired. I was going to do a GMS in the news of how many people got deleted yesterday. The Lord is making his rounds, man. You see? Slaying utterly old, young babies, everything, man. And we got to let you know. It's a speaky every man, the truth to his neighbor. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates, man. And the gates represent the leaders. Who is our neighbors? The Israelites, Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans. We, we got to let them know what it is. Yeah, we know the majority of our people don't want to hear the truth, but look, it's our job to give it to them. The second Ezra chapter um, 8. Let's just get it. Second Ezra chapter 8. We'll read verse 3 and then we'll jump. Just giving you the truth, man. Early this morning, just giving you the truth. The truth is what's going to set us free. Uh, once again, you might not want to hear the truth, but the truth is what's going to set you free, right? This, this, this man, this man that don't love you. Sleazy E, the rulers of the earth right about now, the wicked, they don't love you, Israel. All right? It's never going to, you right, you voting and you marching for equal rights and you want everything to be fair. It's, nothing's fair. Second Ezra 8, I'm going to read 3 and I'm going to jump down. There be many created, but few should be saved. And you see that now. An innumerable amount of people was created and put on the face of the earth. But only a few of them are going to be saved, right? Should parking increase downtown 80%? Parking just increase 80% downtown. You see? 80%, man. But oh yeah, things are going to get better, right? The people that you put in office, they're going to look out for your best interest. They, they're going to, they're, they're caring about how much you spend on certain things. Are, are you serious? 80%, man. So when you go downtown, you start to park in these, all these downtown areas. When you start to go downtown, you're trying to find you a parking space. When you find it, just know that it went up 80%. Evils and only evils, man. Many created, few shall be saved. So the Lord is taking people out, man. As I do this video, people are being taken out. Let's get to 50. Second Ezra 8 and 50. And like I said before, this is just a quick read. Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. For, for many great miseries 
shall be done to them that in a lot of time. But oh yeah, your false prophets, you know what I'm saying, tell them some let the good times roll. People are getting angry and fed up by how expensive shit is. But the majority of our people are like, oh, shit, everything's grand. Everything's good. Look, no, it ain't, man. It ain't going to get no better for you, right? For many great misery, not just some, but many. It's going to be so much hell, so much tribulation, and I mean, all kind of things are coming out of the pipeline for you people of the earth, man. Miseries. And look, look up the definition. The only thing you got to do is just look it up. Shall be done to them that in the latter time, we living in the latter times, shall dwell in the world. Because they have walked in great pride, and once again, pride goes before destruction, and in haughty spirit before fall. M many great miseries. Remember, we're in the latter days of the la Look, we're at the end of this place. You see? Shootout with Kentucky deputies. It's going out. People being found in trucks and, and trailers. More of that, man. It's about to be more of that. It ain't, ain't going to stop. Just because of a couple of people, you know what I'm saying, get, get busted, all this, just to make it seem like they're, they're on their job. Man, come on, man. Nine people hurt in New Jersey shooting. M more miseries, man. All right? More, more miseries. Let's get this, man. You know, look, it ain't going to stop. And you heard it from the prophets of the Lord. It's not going to stop, man. The Second Timothy chapter 3. Look at look at this, look at the stock. Everything's down. Looking at the stock market this morning, everything's down, man. The Lord putting the, the Lord said He's not going to heal this place, Jeremiah, man. I think it's Jeremiah fifty one. He's not going to heal Babylon. Second Timothy chapter three. We just click on it. Second Timothy chapter three verse one. And it reads, "This know also that in the last days." Perilous times shall come, dangerous, hazardous, serious, uncertain times. That's the times that we're living in. in, in this, only the prophets, or the, the true prophets, the true servants of Yahweh, by Shem they're the only ones letting you know these things. Everybody else is playing games, lollygagging, telling you to go drink the Capri Sun. You even got prophets, you got Israelite prophets telling you to go drink the Capri Sun. Telling you that they're going to take the grain of rice. These prophets, these so-called prophets are telling you this, Israel. And you love them to death, man. You would do anything for them. You will follow them off a cliff. But the service of Yahweh Bashim Yahshad is really giving it to you like a T.I. is. you you like, yo, um, they're haters. You're going to know the Lord by his judgment that he bring upon the four corners of the earth. There's no lie in the truth, man. There's no lie in the truth. So the only thing we can do is give you the truth. Let's get the Hebrews right quick. Yes, the Hebrews. Yes, the book of Hebrews. I'm going into the book of Hebrews. For all you Israelite groups to say that the book of Hebrews is not canon. Hebrews chapter 10. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going in the book of Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. Bomb threats everywhere, chariot sightings everywhere, wars still popping off. War, war is not going to stop either, all right? You can go to your Congress leader, you know what I'm saying, and write different legislation bills and letters and things of that nature. War is going to continue, all right? Evils and only evils. Once again, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Hell, our people don't even want, it, want us to tell them that the Lord is killing all these people. Because they've been taught all their life that he's all love. Nah, man. Nah, we're going to give it to you. Look, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Only death and destruction. That's all that's coming, man. And, and though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. What else? Let's go to Ezekiel right quick. Ezekiel 7. Like I said before, I'm just hitting some points and I'm going to wrap it up. The truth. The truth, right? Ezekiel 7. We'll read 5 and then we'll jump on down. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 5. Thus saith the Lord. See, this is thus saith the Lord, not me. I'm just reading it, man. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, who you equally call God and Jesus. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and evil, meaning bad times, and only evil, meaning more bad times. Remember, great misery, right? Behold, it's come. Shit, it's the first. It's the first of the month, right? 
one million people in, in these certain counties are, are getting evicted today. They're facing eviction, man. To today, it's, but but they but they you know they were spending all their money at the mall last week. See, they were spending all their money on them crab legs at the grocery store. They, they was mocking. They were scoffing. Now, now look, today is the first. You're facing eviction this morning. Remember, uh, what, what, is, what I read earlier? It says, uh, perilous times, man. Serious, dangerous, uncertain times. That's what we're living in. Letting you know this is not our rest. When you got a million people in this county, about two million people. It d depends on the city. The bigger the city, the more evictions are happening, man. And you, you about to really, really see it. You see it here and there, but the Lord's about to make it evident that a whole lot of people are being evicted, man. Hell, somebody down the street, you know what I'm saying, from Wild State got, got evicted. Sheriff warrants all over the all over the door. All over the window, man. It's going down. Everybody relax. Ain't nobody getting up, getting out of the bed. Everybody just laying around all damn day. The Lord getting you out of there, man. Because it's evils and only evils behold is come. So all you're going to see, especially here in Babylon, 25, destruction cometh and they shall seek peace and there shall be none. you seeking for peace, love, tranquility, and all this other nonsense. And when you see seeing chaos everywhere, man. The love of many is waxing cold. People getting ready to start invading each other's houses. But oh yeah, there ain't nobody telling you that though. That, that's the main thing they should be telling you. Get right with the God of the Bible because he's making all these things happen. We're going to get that right quick before I, before I close out. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Verse 3, let's just click on it. If I were to read verse 1, verse 1 says, um, Brethren, there's no need that I should write unto you to tell you pretty much what time it is. You should already know what time it is. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1. Slack it. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, these false prophets, your community leaders, the president, the governor, the mayor, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them as to veil upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. That, that sudden destruction is coming upon people now. And they're not able to escape it. The truth, Israel. The Lord says he's not bringing peace to this place. And that's the truth, Israel. Oh, look, can't sugarcoat anything. We got to give it to you straight. Especially, you know what I'm saying? Look, we held accountable for what we teach. These other prophets, they don't think they're going to be held accountable for what they teach, but they are. St. Matthew chapter 10. I just want to hit a point. St. Matthew chapter 10. Uh, let's see. I just want to read one, one scripture. Let's see, 34. Matter of fact, I'm going to read 34 and 35, Salakia. So like St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34 and 35, and it reads, Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. And it's the Lord speaking. The Lord said, I come to bring destruction. And that says, going to be more drowning in these different lakes, more, more animal attacks, more lightning, more thunder, more storms, more earthquakes, all of the above, man. More more love, wax and cold. You hungry, you on your own. Your baby hungry, you on your own. Nobody ain't gonna bring you and your babies McDonald's food, even though that was a prank. And the Lord said, you're gonna um, desire to go to a city and ain't gonna be able. You got people across seas trying to get back home. You're not coming back home. All right, look at that NBA star. You know what I'm saying? Brittany, whatever her name is. Through. And look, look, the wife of Brittany is on TV. They, really, the wife of Brittany is on TV. I'm saying an oxymoron. You see? Evils pursue sinners, man. All you Israelites is out there committing them wicked acts, them abominable acts. The Lord got, got eyes dead on you, man. Which are the angels, man. The, the evils are going to pursue you no matter where you go. Repent and turn back to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Once again, my last scripture, St. Matthew 10, 34. Think not that I have come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword, which represents destruction. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. Miseries on top of miseries. And, look, and that's just the truth. I wish I could have brought out more scriptures, but I'm pressed for time. I got to roll out. Evils and only evils, man. Jacob's trouble is fastly arising. 
And you Israelites going to be shit out of luck, man, when it pop off. Especially the Israelites that didn't return and repent. Remember, these words don't go off. I got one. I got one more. I got one more, then I got to roll for real, for real. Let's just get this. The Lord is not prolonging his word anymore. It's going out full throttle. Remember, woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery that pray the part of not. Isaiah chapter 34. Everything that I'm reading. Isaiah chapter 34. Let's get it. Let's just blow it up. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16, and it reads, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord, which is the Bible, and read, No one of these shall fail. So everything I read is going to come to pass, if it haven't already come to pass. And some of it coming to pass as I make this video. None shall want her mate. It's not going to fail. None shall want her mate, because the Bible stands alone. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them, man. So the Lord is making everything happen. Look, look. The truth. That's what it is. The truth. Shalom.